Well, hello there, friends. Check this out. My focaccia bread, stuffed with brie and caramelized onion. Oh, I'm gonna show you how to make it. It's amazing. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Stay tuned, friends. We're making the ultimate focaccia bread. Okay, friends, you're gonna love this recipe. It's gonna be delicious. You're gonna need one of those, though. Tabletop mixer, friends. If you don't have one of those, you don't wanna make this recipe because it'll be way too much. All right, very simple, folks. I got a uh, envelope of uh, a dry active yeast, and uh, we're gonna feed it with a um, little sugar and uh, just the whole envelope. Bam, bam, bam. Get that at the grocery store, right? We're going to fill it with sugar, and we're going to put two tablespoons of 105-degree uh, water. I checked it a minute ago. It was 200, it was <laughs> 105 degrees. So I'm going to put it in here, mix it with a toothpick, mix it well, make sure it all looks like it's incorporated, and then we're going to leave it alone for about 10 minutes until, as a, until it has at least doubled in size. No big deal. Very simple, friends. You're gonna love this recipe. I'm telling you, you're gonna like it. It's wonderful. We're gonna put caramelized onion inside and brie cheese. <laughs> Delicious. All right, friends. We'll be back in about 10 minutes when these guys are double in size. See what I made sure? There's none on the side right there. And they let us double in size in about 10 minutes. All right, we'll put the timer on. Back in a minute. Okay, friends, look, look at this. Boy, <laughs> more than double. <laughs> so in the, um, in the mixer, I got 10 ounces of, uh, of cold water. And uh, you know, if your water coming out of the tap is, uh, is warm, <laughs> if you live in Florida, sometimes that's the way it is, I just take it out of the fridge. I wanna I mix that up a little bit. And when it's well mixed, then I'm gonna add a, uh, a tablespoon of sugar and three cups of bread flour. Three cup of bread flour. And I'm gonna mix all this up. First, I wanna wait for this to be incorporated. I'm gonna lift up the mixer. So that's one thing that I like about the smaller mixer, because it's only four and a half core. I think this one's four and a half core. Uh, you can lift it up like that. It makes it easier to incorporate your flour or whatever it is you, you do in there. It's it. This isn't, uh, the smaller mixer is not as strong as the bigger one, you know, the five and a half quarts or something. So this one suffers a little bit when I do that, but I, I need to do it in the glass so you guys can see what's going on. It's no big deal, but it's better if you see what's going on in there. That's why I use the glass mixer, because my bigger one, it's got a steel and steel bowl and they don't come with a glass thing. So, so we're gonna wait for this to be incorporated, almost all of it, which is almost there, my friends. You see, look. We're gonna go slowly and we're gonna add uh, some beautiful olive oil, one tablespoon of olive oil. And we're gonna add two tablespoon, two tablespoon of salt. And my friends, this is where you need a mixer. <laughs> Cause this guy's gonna need to go 15 minutes. It's 15 minutes, gonna be beautiful, smooth and silk. I'm gonna show you what I do with them, all right? So we're gonna wait for this, friends, all right? So we'll be back in 15 minutes. Okay, friends, about 15 minutes, you'll know because you see the bottom of it doesn't stick anymore. And uh, it's gonna be nice and silky and smooth. So we're gonna lift it up, we're gonna put it in a bowl, and you see it's elastic. We're gonna put it in a bowl where I put some olive oil, and, uh, and what I do, friends, see, I take it like this. I take my time to go like this. And take your time to put it everywhere, because whatever, whatever you don't put olive oil, it's going to stick. <laughs> see, just like this. I, I did it already, so take your time. And then um, we're going to put the, let me take this out of the way. And so we're going to take this off. If it wants to come off, sometimes it doesn't want to come off. Just side. 
wants to fight me. So we're gonna clean it right there. Well, plastic spatula make things easier, but your fingers will be just fine as I well. You know, I have one of those. Those are pretty cool, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside my bowl and I'm gonna scrape the bottom, see? That don't stick anymore. It is, it is it's sticky, so don't think it's not gonna be sticky. It's uh, sticky, but it'll be just fine. And we're gonna try to grab it all in one piece here. I'll try, yep. And we've got one piece of dough right there, my friends. You see? And I got a little bit on my fingers, but that's okay, I can handle it. Oh, that's it, there's nothing else in here no more. You can take an, a knife and, uh, and scrape it to put it all in there, okay? I'm just gonna leave that in here. I'm gonna wash, I'm gonna steam it. Eh? Oh, that was the rag I was gonna use to put on top. Oh, here you go, I still put it on top. All right, so <laughs> let's take this out. What I'm gonna do now, friends, I'm gonna uh, loosely cover it. You can do it with plastic wrap if you want, but you gotta put, put a couple of holes in it and put it in the warmest place of the house. It could be, uh, for me, it's a bedroom. <laughs> Very hot in there. Uh, <laughs> put it outside if it's sunny. Just be careful then no, no insect to get to it, okay? Put it wherever it's warm, the garage, or the water heater, whatever it is. All right, friends, we'll be back in one hour, and this dough will have double in sizes, sometimes even more. Depends how warm it is outside or how warm it is in the bedroom. I'll be back in one hour. Okay, friends, as you can see, the dough is more than double in, um, in volume. Eh? So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to take a little bit of wet flour, just a little bit. We don't need to put a lot, just a little bit right there. And um, I'm going to take that dough out of there, and I'm going to cut it in half, in two pieces. Because I'm going to do something different than you hardly see people do. And, uh, and it's very simple. You'll see we're going to put some cheese in the middle. And caramelized onion. <laughs> it's gonna be delicious. So what we're gonna do, friends, we're gonna take that dough and we're gonna cut it in half, roughly. Even doesn't have to be exact. You can make it exact if you want, but you really don't need to. And uh, we're gonna just do it very simple. Oh, let me grab a little more flour, just a little bit here, because I got a little oil in there. And uh, you see, it didn't stick at all to the bowl, so which is really good. And then what we're gonna do. We're just gonna flatten it. We're not gonna do nothing special, nothing fancy. We're just gonna flatten it. Let me get a little more flour. I should have kept it a little closer. That would have been easier. All right. That's nothing fancy. Then we're gonna roll it. Nothing fancy. Here, you don't stick. Let me put a little flour on my uh, on my uh, roll. See, just very simple. Nothing special. All right. Roll it up and don't worry about it. Don't have to be exact, friends, okay? See, don't worry about this. And then I have this uh, cake mold here that is uh, it's a nine and a half inches by two inch thick. And I put some olive oil in there. Make sure you take the time to do this, friends, okay? If you want to use the olive oil you spray, as long as it's 100% pure olive oil you spray, then you can use it. There's no chemical in there, you can use it, right? And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our dough we're gonna roll it on there, just like this, and we're gonna put it right inside of it, okay? And don't worry about it. If you mess it up like I just did, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, it's not very important. What's important is you'll never see it. What's important, friends, is then you cover the whole bottom of it, you see? That's all you, that's all you have to be concerned about. Cover the whole bottom, all right? You see? Very simple. Okay, now that we cover the bottom of it, we're gonna put some uh, caramelized onion. And, uh, and, and Jack is gonna give you a link for this, friends. You're gonna see, this is amazing. This onion right there, I put them on anything. I put them on fish, I put them on steak. I put them on tomato mozzarella. I mean, I put them everywhere. I mean, those are amazing. Uh, they really, really are on fish. Ooh, you cook a fish with this on it. 
on a caramelized onion on top of the fish. Oh, let me tell you, you're gonna love it, friends. All right, we have it right there. Very simple, very simple. Now, you can just uh, follow the recipe that we gave you, or you can make your own. Caramelized onion, I think it's really, really important in there, friends. Okay, so now, now I'm gonna put some brie cheese. I got it in the fridge. And what I did with the brie cheese, friends, I, um, I shaved it with a, with a vegetable peeler, and I cut it very, very thin with a, with a, with a knife. Yeah, oh, that's a good idea, Jean-Pierre. Use a knife when you cut the cheese, okay? You don't want to do it with your anything with a fork or anything, mamma mia. Here we go, we're gonna put the cheese. Oh, oh, before I do this, friends, before I do this, there's a few things we gotta follow. We gotta make sure we put a little bit of uh, water on the outside. That's gonna be, you'll see, you'll see. It's gonna be the glue that we're gonna put in. You can all do it at the same time I do it. You see, you get your ingredients ready. This is the kind of recipe you wanna follow what I'm doing and be exactly at the same time as I do it, okay? Water all the way to the side. This side doesn't want to stay in there for some reason. And then we're going to put a brie. Or, if you don't like brie, you can put, um, um, yeah, here's a big piece of black pepper in there. What's this? Onion. Um, you can put a goat cheese. You can put a blue cheese. You can put whatever cheese makes you happy, friends. Or you can skip the cheese if you don't want to. You can put mozzarella cheese. Put whatever cheese you want to put in here, okay? And keep it kind of on the edges right there, all right? So now, I gotta do something, I gotta get something here before I forget, friends. I gotta put the, the, the salt, because I always forget to do that at the end, and if I don't put it here, I'm gonna forget it. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna continue, we're gonna do exactly the same thing we just did, and I hope Jack can follow me. You got me, Jack, you good? He's got me. We're in good shape. We're gonna do exactly the same thing we just did, you can put on it if you want a little bit. Just to put it a little bit so it's kind of even, or you can do it with a roller, rolling pin. It doesn't matter. Whatever makes you happy. Remember, this is only cooking, friends. Okay? All right? So now we're in good shape. What do you think? I think we're in good shape. We're gonna roll it. We're gonna take it, put it right there, and cover the whole thing. And again, like I said, don't worry. If it's not perfect, it does not matter, okay? It does not matter. What matters now is then we seal the side of it with the water like I did earlier. Really important, and you press it down good, okay, friends? See, look, very important. Take the time to do this, okay? Very, very important. You get all the way around it. And you squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. You see? All right? So I forget anything so far? Not yet. <laughs> Won't be the first time. <laughs> in fact, I every day I do, I forget something. Uh, I forget something. Okay, so we're in good shape? What do you think? I think we're in good shape. So you know what I want to do? I want to clean up a little bit here because I don't like to work in the mess. Clean up just a little bit. We're gonna put this right here. All right, so now we are fairly clean. All right, now we're gonna finish this. How we're gonna finish it, friends, is uh, we're gonna put some decorations in there a little bit. I'm gonna use Kalamata olives. You don't like Kalamata olives, don't put them in. Not that big of a deal. Remember, it's make it your own. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some olive oil. I use a, um, a wooden spoon. I'm gonna make a hole in there with a wooden spoon, and then I'm gonna put a Kalamata olive right in there. You see, look. All right, just like that. Very simple, friends. You see? You don't like Kalamata olive? Don't put them in. There, I love them. <laughs> That's why I put them in, because I love them. Otherwise, I, if I don't like something, I'm not putting it in, I'm telling you. I don't care if it's traditional, I don't care if it's, um, yeah, my fact, yeah, that's not traditional at all what I'm doing here. <laughs> the Italian are gonna go, what? Brie cheese? <laughs> that's okay. This is a Franco-Italian channel. So relax, everybody. We're here to have some fun. All right, what do you think? Let's put one in the middle. 
that's got a big one right there. All right, let's put one in the middle. Okay, now we're not finished. Now, I got some uh, uh, pieces of basil, and I got some pieces of sun-dried tomatoes. So what I like to do is I like to take a little piece of basil, right, and a little piece of tomatoes, and boom, make a hole in there. Very simple, you see? I say very simple, but it's taking me forever. See, right there, my friends. You can put more. For the um, purpose of this video, I'm not going to put too many of them. Yeah, put them in there. And don't worry about it. Bury them in there. <laughs> yeah. Bury them in there. See, look. There you go. Go in there, you. Get in there. There you go. Get in there. Yeah, you. Stay in there. <laughs> Talking to my son, right, tomatoes. All right. Now, it looks good, right? Now, what we got to do, friends... We got to let it rest. All right, we're gonna let it rest. First, we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil on top. A little bit of olive oil on top. Then we can't forget the salt because I always forget. Don't let me forget. And say and pepper. Don't let me forget. I always forget something. Here we go, friends. A little bit of beautiful olive oil. This is the garlic olive oil right there. Beautiful garlic olive oil, you stay in there, you. A little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano. And the Parmesan, make sure you don't put it on the edge first, because if you put it on the edge, it's going to stick to your mold, and then you're going to have a tough time taking it out. So stay in the middle. Stay in the middle. Don't go in there, okay? Stay in the middle. I got a little chopped fresh rosemary here, friends. A little chopped fresh rosemary. You don't want it, you don't have it, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. All right, so am I looking good? I think I'm looking good. A little more cheese, baby. Be careful now. Don't put too much. All right? So now, now we're going to put the fleur de sel. If you don't have fleur de sel, just put a nice kosher, kosher salt. It'll be fine. All right? Did I forget anything? Jack, do you see anything I forgot? You don't see anything. So I didn't forget anything. Here we go, friends. Now we're going to take this. We're going to let a restaurant, we don't need to take it to the bedroom anymore <laughs> or to the garage or anything. Uh, we're going to leave it like that for 15 minutes. It's going to rise again. It's very important to let it rise again. And then we're going to pop it in the oven. I got the oven going at 450. All right. So we're going to let that rise again. Maybe we'll pop the olives back in there and then we'll pop it in the oven. Be back in a minute. Okay, friends, you see it, uh, it, uh, it uh, rose. It grew. <laughs> and then uh, um, I'm going to put a little fresh black pepper in there. We can certainly put more when it comes out, but it'll be right in there. All right, friends, I got the oven at 450. I'm going to go to the oven for about 15, 20, 25, 15, 20, 25 minutes. Why well, this beautiful golden brown? I'll be back in a few minutes for you, friends. Okay, friends. Better watch it, <laughs> 15 minutes. And uh, as long as it's 450, the idea is to really see it. So it's beautiful, smells amazing. Believe it or not, the rosemary, it's perfuming in the whole studio. It's amazing. So look, I'm gonna put a plate, I'm gonna put it on top of it, I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna flip it on here. And um, actually everything is hot, so hold, on, hold a minute. <laughs> hold a minute. I'm gonna move over here. Jack is going, ah, you didn't tell me you are going to do that. See, so look, 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 look now. So it's hot. So please, come on. Don't stick. Sometimes I'm afraid it's going to stick. But um, I think we're going to be fine. I think we're going to be fine. Whoa, it's hot. Ha, ha, ha. Ho! Oh, it's a beauty. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. So now, now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do right like, right there. And oh, oh, mama mia, look at this, look at this, yeah. Okay, now, now I'm going to put it on the tray. You got to make sure you do this, okay, on the rack. Put it on the rack, friends. Put it on the rack. And forget this, uh, this uh, thing here. Put it on the rack right there. And the reason why you want to do this, friends, is because you want the air to get in there. You don't want to get saggy in the bottom. And then, and then what we're going to do, we're going to do, we're going to put a little more olive oil, a little more olive oil on top. 
Look at look how beautiful that is. Look, look at this. Oh, if you could be here right now. Now this, my friends, is a focaccia. I mean, when last time you seen a focaccia that beautiful, right? Is that a gorgeous thing or what? I'm telling you. Now we're not gonna cut it right now, because if we cut it right now, friends, that cheese is gonna run all over the place. So we're gonna give it a minute to rest, okay, friends? Right? And then what you could do, you can put a little more black pepper on it, right? And, um, and you can put a little more flour de sel or, or salt on there, right there. And we're gonna let it rest and we're gonna cut it. Is that a beauty? I hope you make it, friends. All right, we'll be back in a minute, so we're gonna cut it. Okay, friends, remember, you had to put a little extra olive oil because he drinks it. <laughs> Drink the olive oil. I'm going to show you the inside. You know, I added up more olives because they went right in there. So <laughs> I added more when it was still hot. All right, so look, you gotta, we're going to cut this, show you the inside. This is not your typical focaccia bread. And, and nothing wrong with the way you make it flat, but, you know, I think this is more uh, dramatic. This is more dramatic, you know, and, it, and it's not that much more difficult to do it, friends, you know what I mean? It's not difficult to do it to make it dramatic. Look at this. If I could cut it, that would be nice, right? If I can cut it, oh, yeah, look at the cheese right there, friends. Look at this. Look at this, my friends. You see? Look at this. Well, the olives, this one, the outside don't look so good, but let me tell you, this right there, oh, the olives, they're all here. <laughs> they're all here, they're, <laughs> they're all there, they all here. There you go, put a one here. My friends, uh, this is going to be amazing, okay? I'm going to put it right here so I can cut a piece of it, and I can try it. And, and maybe I shouldn't be trying that big of a piece, but um, I put an olive right there. Oh! Mmm! Wow! Mmm! Mm, mm. I want you to see, friends. Look, you see? Look how beautiful the dough is. It's amazing. Mm. Wow. I test amazing. Mm. Look at the inside. Look at the inside. You're on the inside. You can see all that cheese right there. So put that cheese in there. Put whatever cheese you want in there. Trust me, blue cheese is delicious also, but I love blue cheese. Uh, goat cheese, uh, blue cheese, mozzarella cheese, whatever you want. Friends, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, make that video and subscribe to the channel, my friend. Thanks for watching. Wow, that really is. I'm telling you, this is like holy moly. Look at this thing. <laughs> Mmm, wow, why is this so fire? <laughs> wow, no, I really is a success. Mmm.